Paris Saint-Germain were already guaranteed autumn championship status. It took them a while to get going against Metz at the Parc des Princes. But Vitinha knocking in from a wonderful centre from Kang Ing Lee. And then it was time for the birthday boy. 25 years old and killing Mbappe for the second time in his PSG career. Scoring on his birthday, but an absolute stunner to do so. And two to the good. Well, Mess did hit back. Fabulous header from Mathieu Udol. Gave Le Grenat some hope, but then they shot themselves in the foot. And who else but Mbappe? First to the ball. Paris ending the first half of the season on top, going into the Christmas break with a five-point advantage. Added to that, younger brother Ethan made his debut a perfect occasion for the Mbappes. Well, nice were looking to hold on to second place in the table. They did so late. Evan Gessan on the move. Felled by Abdul Samed. Ter Moffi had only stepped off the bench three minutes prior. But the Nigerian didn't need time to heat up. Smashing in his fifth of the season. And it was only going to get better for him and Nice. A brilliant team move. Melvin Bard to Gessan. Balling behind. Jeremy Boga still had a lot to do. Skin for Kunda Medina. What a little clip that was. And Muffy on the ready for a deadly double. 2 0. Lawns. Long unbeaten run ended. Well, Monaco had for a time held second spot before Nice's late show. Initially, though, they had fallen behind. Cesar Helaber with a brilliant pick out, but Franck Magri still had things to do, and he did them brilliantly. The fourth goal of the season, and ending a run of seven games without a top flight goal. But Toulouse have dropped 12 points after opening the scoring. It was to be a day like that again. And who else but their old hero returning? Wissam Ben Yedder back in the Monaco starting 11. The captain scoring at his old home. And he would do so again from the penalty spot. Following Balogun, chopped down by Rasmus Nikolaisen. And Ben Yedder with his 250th career goal for a club and country. And four goals in as many games against Toulouse. Well, this was quite a story that brewed in Brittany, Kamori, Dumbia, on the volley. What a start for Bress, who had the podium in their sights before kick-off. On loan from Rantz, an absolute cracker to get Leble bouncing. Only one of the last 12 meetings between these sides had ended in a draw. There was absolutely no chance of this one. Adding to that slight statistic. Dubia once again clipping over just three minutes after he'd volleyed in the first. Pandemonium for the Pirates and it was only going to get better. Satriano saw his pass not reach its target. Chardonnay firing across and who else? Dubia with a hat-trick in just six minutes and 17 seconds. He'd only scored once before, but it's been quite a recent breakthrough. Scoring back-to-back -back times in World Cup qualifiers for Mali, then against Montpellier in a 3-1 win, but this, something special. Not since Cavani in 2016 had a player scored four goals in the first half. Well, Strasbourg fell behind despite Matt Sells initially saving. Benjamin Andre's shot then blocked, but it kept alive. Erin Zagrova twisting and turning, and his delivery created the opener. Silla getting his head to it, flicking it past his own goalkeeper. Anything they can do, 
The others can do better. Brilliant charging run. Ended with a second on goal. This time, Lenny Yoro. The first time since Clement Mess in August 2021. Two teams have scored an own goal in the same match in Liga Uber Eats. And yet there was to be a winner. Junior Mwanga was the creator at the weekend. This time, not just a goal scorer, but a match winner. What a way to get your first Liga Uber Eats goal. Arce had the chance to end 2023 how they started it with a win at the Stade Le Mousson. But it was Montpellier that fired ahead. Cali fired with just his second Liga and Uber Eats goal almost two months after the first. Maxime Estev after scoring at the weekend, the assister on this occasion. And yet Jordan Verretou, just three minutes prior, had been brilliantly denied by Benjamin Lacan. And then Jonathan Close found him. And he headed Marseille to a point. Not the best end to 2023, but Marseille in the top six. Laurent desperate to find a winning touch. Junior Ito being denied. Arthur Demas. Larve came into the match having defeated Nice at home. But after early sending off of Rasul Inde, they were certainly up against it. Just four minutes later, where Ito failed, his compatriot succeeded. Brilliant strike from Kieto Nakamura. And that's ten home wins for the calendar year. As Rantz celebrated at the Stade Augustulon, if not for Demas, it could have been much worse for Le Havre, who end the year in defeat. Well, Clermont, a lack of goals, continued to trouble them. It only took three minutes and two seconds for Shema Nicholson to score. Huge hope for Le Lancier, the 26-year-old Jamaican, just his second goal of the season. But it wasn't to be their day. It rarely has this season. A brilliant ball. Well saved initially by Moe Diao. But Arno Calamuendo was there to snaffle up his first league goal since the 1st of October. It took until two minutes from time, though, for Rennes to make sure of the points. Desiree Dewey set up by his brother. Smashing in from a tight angle. Maximiliano Coffrier had been sent off just before half time. But in stoppage time, a penalty kick smashed in by Ludovic Blas. Rounded off. An enhanced win for Rennes. 3 1, Clermont, rock bottom. Well, there's been some recovery from Lyon. Rock bottom for nine consecutive weeks. And after back-to-back -back wins, he came into this contest with Nantes on a rise. Early, Dijon Lovren was denied. But then Rayan Shirky rode the challenge. Alexander de Lacazette headed for the space. And it was the easiest of finishes. Four goals in his last two at the Groupama Stadium. It was a hat-trick against Toulouse. One enough to down Nantes. Like I said, almost doubled his tally. Leon score, but this enough to take Leon out of the bottom three. 24 goals over week 17 and the final round before the end of the year. Four of those alone by Dumbia in the first half. The Brest thrash Lorient in the Breton derby. So all the podium dwellers winning, meaning Paris Saint-Germain maintained their five-point lead over Nice. Monaco now have Stade Brestois, just two points behind them, Leo Marseille and Lons in behind. So Clermont rock bottom, Lorient just a point above, Toulouse slip into the bottom three, Lyon with three straight wins, three clean sheets, find themselves back 
above the red. So we'll be back for the return of league action Friday the 12th of January when Marseille take on Strasbourg. From all of us at Liga Nouvelle Ritz, happy holidays. See you in 2024.